Hello, this is Dennis of KO Math. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to learn how to evaluate expressions using the order of operations. When evaluating and simplifying expressions, it is very important that we simplify them in the correct order. You might ask why the order of operations is important. Let me give you a specific problem. Evaluate 4 plus 12 divided by 2 times 3 minus 5. What if we are allowed to perform the operations in any order that we want? One may perform the operations from left to right and obtain the following. Okay, So here we perform first the addition followed by division and then multiplication and then subtraction. So we'll get 4 plus 12 is 16. 16 divided by 2 is 8. 8 times 3 is 24. 24 minus 5 is equal to 19. Other people probably know MDAS rule. MDAS stands for multiply or multiplication, D, divide, and then A, add, and then S, subtract. But some might think that we need to multiply first, then divide, then add, then subtract. And they will get this one. So if we're going to uh, apply multiplication first, 2 times 3 is equal to 6, followed by division, 12 divided by 6 is 2, followed by addition, 4 plus 2 equals 6, and then followed by subtraction, 6 minus 5 equals 1. Some might use this MDAS rule and think that multiplication and division are of the same level and must be performed from left to right, then followed also by addition or subtraction from left to right to obtain the following. So here, because uh, division and multiplication are of the same level, so if, they, if we perform these operations from left to right, so we need to perform the division first, 12 divided by 2 is 6, followed by multiplication, 6 times 3 is equal to 18. And then addition and subtraction are of the same level. Then uh, we perform 4 plus 18 is 22, and then 22 minus 5 equal to 17. As we can see, we have uh, three different answers from uh, these uh, three solutions. We have 19. 1 and 17. This is the reason why the order of operations is very important because it guarantees us that we're going to obtain the same answer when we evaluate or simplify an expression. So which is the correct answer if we perform the correct order of operations? We'll know the answer after we go over the correct order of operations, which is the following. First, the parenthesis, which represents any grouping symbol. All operations within a grouping symbol. And if there is more than one grouping symbol, we have to start working out from the innermost one. The common grouping symbols used are the following. So we have here uh, parentheses, square brackets or simply brackets, and uh, braces or curly braces. Now, how do we perform the operations? First, uh, we do the exponents, then followed by multiplication and division from left to right, and then followed by addition and subtraction from left to right. To remember this order of operations, we use the word PEMDAS. And for me, it is better to write PEMDAS vertically. So we won't forget that we have to do the uh, multiplication and division from left to right. Same with uh, addition and subtraction. Have you wondered why addition and uh, subtraction are of the same level? Because Subtraction is like addition. Example, 5 minus 3 is equal to 5 plus negative 3. 
Similarly, multiplication and division are of the same level because division is like multiplication. For example, 8 divided by 2 equal to 8 times 1 half. Note that the arithmetic operations here are exponents raising to a power, multiplication, division, addition, and uh, subtraction. But why do we have parentheses on top of them? Because we use grouping symbols if we want a set of operations to be performed first before others. Let us go back to the problem I gave you a while ago. So we want to evaluate 4 plus 12 divided by 2 times 3 minus 5. So we want to apply PEMDAS here, the correct order of uh, operations. But we don't see any grouping symbols, no exponents. So we only need to apply multiplication and division from left to right and then addition and subtraction from left to right. And we'll get the following. So first, we divide. So 12 divided by 2 will get 6. And then multiply this one. So 6 times 3 will get 18. And now we're left with only addition and subtraction. So we need to perform the operations from left to right. So we'll get here 4 plus 18. That is 22 minus 5, which is equal to 17. So therefore, this is the right answer if we perform the correct order of operations. Now, what if we introduce a grouping symbol? So let's say we have uh, 4 plus 12 divided by the quantity 2 times 3 minus 5. So again, we use grouping symbols to prioritize a, a set of operations. So let's say here we want these operations, multiplication and subtraction to be performed first before this division and addition. So again, from PEMDAS, we will get the following answer, which is equal to positive 16. So since the operations within this grouping symbol are multiplication and subtraction, we need to uh, apply multiplication first. 2 times 3 is equal to 6, then followed by subtraction 6 minus 5, which is equal to 1. Now the remaining operations are addition and division. So again, we need to perform the division first. 12 divided by 1, which is equal to 12. And finally, we add these two numbers and get the answer, which is equal to 16. Now, suppose we have two grouping symbols. So let's say we have these uh, square brackets here and parentheses. So again, when we apply PEMDAS, we have to work from the inner grouping symbols. So we have the parentheses. So we need to perform first uh, this uh, multiplication. So when we apply PEMDAS, we'll get the answer, which is equal to 1. So again, we perform this multiplication first, we'll get 6, and now we perform the operations within these square brackets. So since the operations are division and subtraction, so we need to perform the division first. So 12 divided by 6 is equal to 2, followed by 2 minus 5, which is equal to negative 3, and finally, we get the answer, which is 1. Let's have one more problem. Suppose we have this uh, expression and let's evaluate uh, this one. Here we have uh, three grouping symbols. We have the parentheses, the brackets, and the uh, braces. So again, from PEMDAS, if we have more than one grouping symbol, we need to work out from the innermost grouping symbol to the outermost grouping symbol. So if we perform the correct order of operations, we'll be able to arrive to the correct answer, which is equal to 18. So again, we start with the operations within the parentheses. So here we have the operation subtraction and exponents. So we apply the exponent first, 3 raised to 2, which is equal to 9, followed by subtraction, 
1 minus 9 equal to negative 8 and then we move to the this uh, grouping symbol the square bracket so 10 plus negative 8 is 2 now uh, this expression can be written in this way so we just replace this expression here as uh, 2 times 2 using center that for the operation multiplication so we're now left with the uh, outermost uh, grouping symbol the curly braces and we have here the operations exponent subtraction division and multiplication again we perform the exponent first 5 squared which is equal to 25 and then here we have division and multiplication so we need to perform these two operations from left to right because they are of the same level so we have here 16 divided by 2 is 8 and then 8 times 2 is equal to 16 and then 25 minus 16 which is equal to 9 and finally we'll get the answer which is equal to 18 all right this is the end of this video i hope i have knocked out any confusions that you have about the order of operations if you have any questions about this lesson feel free to leave your comments below and if you like this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and if you want to see more math tutorial videos please subscribe to my channel again this is dennis of ko math thanks for watching and hope to see you in my next video